It's time for another Gig Master update. In this update, I'm gonna tell you about some tips and tricks at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that, and we're gonna give you some updates on all kind of stuff. All right, stay tuned. All right, first update is Gig Master in the news. First, I'm gonna show you a little article on the screen right here that was put in the paper. If y'all remember, uh, it's been about a month ago now, I saw a little tropical fish at the bottom that's never been seen in our area. It's a, a big eye fish, I think they call it, and it's a, a really beautiful fish. But anyway, they had it, my sister sent it to the newspaper, they put a little arc on the newspaper about it, that was pretty cool. And then I was on the beach during a hurricane coming through, and, and I'll show you a quick clip of that, just part of it. Here you go, right here, check it out. It's a mission along the sand. You just never know what's gonna be on that next scoop. All right, now we'll update you on the Gigmaster channel. We've gotten over 7,000 subscribers now, and I really appreciate appreciate everybody supporting my channel. Um, and all the great comments. I love all the comments y'all put in. Some of them are so fun. I just get a real entertainment of, of listening and reading some of those comments. They're really funny. Um, and uh, I hopefully we'll hit, you know, over 8,000 here in the next month and, and keep growing every day. Um, some of the future things we're coming up with on updates is my son's remodel. I'm doing a complete remodel, remodel of his kitchen, so I'll be doing some update videos. Phase 2 coming in tomorrow. I'm actually wanting to do it right now and run some different electrical and plumber lines and stuff, so we'll give you an update on that. Um, the dolphin skull. If y'all remember this, this in the swimming hole, I got this right here out of there, and I, they say I can give it to a museum. I've checked two places. So far, I haven't got a taker. So I still have my possession right now. It's still cool, isn't it? I love that thing. But we're gonna find a home for him uh, in probably some museum, and uh, that way uh, it'll get a lot of people to be able to see it. Uh, one, some of y'all help me identify things all the time, and two things y'all have identified for me recently is one is this. It's got a blowhole button, and several people ID'd it as being 1600s, and it was a 1600s dock that I got this at. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. I appreciate everybody IDing that for me, help me out on that. And the second one was a video not long, just a few videos ago. I got this right here, if y'all remember seeing that. And uh, they identified that as a, um, let's see, a, a parrot fuse adapter is what it was. And it's made out of zinc. I knew it wasn't brass like it because it was, you could tell us, you know, brass, you chip off and see that brass color. This one didn't have that, so I knew it was made of something. So they say it's zinc. Appreciate the idea on that. And uh, I'm not great at the idea. I appreciate everybody, you know, going along and helping me ID some of the stuff I find. Um, the cannonball, that's awesome, but it, at, it, from what I can tell and the weight and everything, it's a revolutionary war cannonball. It's uh, the, the dimensions on it, it's like 5.5 inches. Uh, thick and uh, it weighs 20 point, I don't know, 20 pounds, two ounces or something. You can't go by the pounds as much because the iron actually leaches out of the ball and it loses its weight. It actually loses weight. I found those small balls where it's almost like a feather because it's completely, all the iron in it's gone. This one I think originally weighed 24 pounds and now it's down to 20 pounds. But, the, but with the width, it's an English cannonball from the Revolutionary War. And I'll put a little thing up there showing how I figured that out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And anyway, it's an electrolysis. It's going to be electrolysis for a long time, months and months probably, uh, trying to get the salt out of it. Because if you leave, if you don't do electrolysis on it, the salt will expand inside, just crack it to pieces. So you got to get all that salt out of it and dry it out good and seal it. So anyway, that's what we're working on that right now. That's going to be cool when we get it done. Um, well, the summer's coming to an end, uh, but we won't stop hunting the beaches. The beaches I hunt year-round. We got a storm getting ready to come through, and it may open up a whole new cut in the beach and expose a whole new line of gold. We don't, you don't know. Uh, some friends of mine tell me you know, they can get a cut and dug six rings in one cut before. You know, once a, once a storm comes through and opens up, so you just never know because that heavy material will lay there while it washes that sand off and just like a gold sluice will. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. Um, but I probably won't be diving, snooper diving anymore. Uh, I'm saying that, but who knows? We'll see how the weather is. It's going to get cold in the 60s and all, so that water's going to cool down really fast. But we'll still be doing fossil hunting, gold painting. We'll definitely be doing some gold painting in the near future, hopefully. Um, but anyway, we'll, 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 we'll continue a lot of good adventures, trust me. Um, you know, I got a new Excel, and I got it all set up. I've used it several times. It's working great. 
Um, so we will still use that on different adventures. You know, I like to use that in certain conditions just to kind of test an area sometimes we'll go back with more detail. Um, I repaired the hookah. The hookah's been repaired. I had to adjust the aisle. You know, it actually shut up on us when um, we were diving one time. And uh, uh, anyway, we that, that, that was kind of scary, but we got it fixed. It seemed to be working great now, even though we probably won't use it until next year now, but I don't know if we can use it anymore. Uh, you saw the video, I got my trailer. That boat slides right up on those little runners now, just as easy. It's not rotten, I feel safe with it now. It's, it's holding it sturdy. Um, that uh, poly board there, I mean, it just slides right up just perfect, man. I love it, man. Um, I tell you what I'm doing now, I'm gonna show you a couple uh, tricks and tips with a couple things here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is show you a little trick with the Garrett pinpoint here. Uh, if you notice, I got a bullet stapled right to the side, and I'm assuming, let's assume this is a hole you dug out looking for that bullet. Now, I got this set on the highest sensitivity because that's the, that way you can tell where it's at in the hole, hole but it's another little trick that you can use. We're going to cut it on, make sure it's not near any iron when you cut it on. Now, when I start to go down in here, you can see it's kind of hitting all over here, right? So you, don't know, you don't know where it's at in the hole. This is a trick. Every time you press this button, it resets itself to the, to the surroundings it's at and zeroes out. So if I go in here like this and push it one time, you hear it go off? Now it doesn't, you see it that close. Now look at this. Now I can start getting closer and closer to it. Now if I, I do it right here, it's reset itself there. So now when I go to the hole, I hear nothing, nothing, nothing. I can actually go to that one. Look, nothing. Now I can tell it's nothing on the sides. I go right to it. See, nothing right here, nothing, 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 bam. You can actually do that and save yourself a lot of time reaching in and just pick that out that side of the hill. Otherwise, you're digging all around and spending a lot more time trying to dig that one bullet out. You want to be as efficient as you can, get the target fast as you can, and dig more relics. That's how you dig more. Anyway, I thought that was a quick little tip. I don't know, some of y'all might already know that, but just remember this resets itself every time. So right now, it doesn't see it till there. If I reset it out here in the open, watch this. It starts hitting there. If I push a button, it resets it. Push it again, it resets it. Reset it. Now, now look at this. It won't, it won't hear it until it gets right within a half inch of it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So you can actually set it up so you can see it right at it. One problem you might have, don't do this. Don't put it right on it and push a button because it resets it to that and you don't hear nothing. It resets, so okay, I'm looking all, all bullets everywhere, so. Make sure, and then you can push it again. And re, all you do is push it one time and recess it instantly. So that's a real good tip to try to use there. All right, let's cut that back off. Uh, another thing, uh, when you're lubricating uh, your rubber O-rings, either it's in a camera, your, your um, detector, whatever, silicone grease, you can get it at Lowe's, uh, Oakley silicone grease. This is something I use uh, on some of those things. But also have silicone oil too. So I use the oil or the grease depending on what I'm doing. Good things to have right there for your uh, sealing stuff up, making sure the rubber stays viable and everything right there. Um, let's see, uh, the foam, you know, I know I've shown you this before, but I'll show you one more time. Uh, my Equinox, if y'all remember, this is just a uh, floaty, uh, like the kids use in the pools, but I just cut a little section out and do that. When this thing drops in the water, it just floats right up. You grab it. You're not wasting any time reaching down the water trying to find it. When you're chest deep, this thing will just be floating up perfect for you. You reach in and grab it and keep getting up. Very efficient. Helps you out a lot. All right. Anyway, that's a couple tricks and tips. Um, i tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you some email that I got from a couple of people. Really cool stuff. Um, the first one is from Ronald. Got him, Ronald. He sent me... A little present here. Let's see. He talked about it in his letter, you know, how much he likes the videos, and I really appreciate that. And um, and he does a lot of the same hobbies I do, and maybe we hunt together sometime, but he sent me something he, he makes. Look at this. It's a ring, and it's made out of a quarter. Uh, you know, the Centennial Quarters, you know. And this is a Virginia Quarter, and it's got set up where you can read the date and the in the cut uh, the state right there, Virginia's got the date on it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? He's got a whole setup here he uses 
He even showed me a picture of his, of his little setup he does to actually works on uh, making these rings. So he can do any state. That is really cool right there. That's sweet. It even fits. Awesome. Um, the second one I got here is from a guy in England. Ian Richardson sent me this. You know, before I tell you about this one, and my wife, me and my wife were talking about uh, my channel. And I was telling her I really like to inspire people to get out. Get out of the chair. Get out there and just have a good time. Enjoy life. Don't worry about what you find. Because, you know, anytime you get out there in nature and do it, you always seem to see something. See nature and uh, just a beautiful sunset, sunrise, whatever. You always come across something really cool. Just get out and do it. So, anyway, this guy kind of really got to my heart reading this. But first thing he did, he sent me this. He said he bought himself one. And he decided to, he said, the gig master needs one of these. And I do. Boom. What it is, you know, it's a light in the hat. You know, like the hunt, the, sometimes I hunt the beaches at night. That'll be perfect. Man, I can just have it. Don't have to have that separate light on my head and all. So that's pretty cool. I appreciate that. That's awesome. And he sent me a little letter, a little card here. Let me see if I can get it out of here. And he actually sent 20 bucks in it. But anyway, we'll talk about that. All right, let's see if I can read without my glasses. Dear Steve, just a thank you for all the effort you put in all the YouTube videos you make. Saw the hat the other day and thought I bought one for myself and thought the gig master would need one. And I sure did. He said, put the money towards uh, something to eat or just maybe that little ground radar you want. So I'm going to do it, Ian. I appreciate that. Your videos, I'm sure, give inspiration to lots of people, including me, and have inspired me to go detecting when I have been otherwise lazy and teaches me to appreciate the world around me. That's exactly what I want to do right there, and I appreciate that, Ian. Um, uh, the world around me, treasure or no treasure, as you say. It's about the journey. If your plans ever reach the UK, I have lots of places for you to detect. And that might come true one day, and I appreciate that. Faithful subscriber, Ian Richardson. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. That is awesome right there. I love getting the feedback, positive feedback, that it does give people inspiration to do things too like that. All right, I got one more letter today. I got from Katie, and she is from Columbia, South Carolina, and you brightened our day. That's awesome. It says, uh, Dear Gig Master, thanks for all the sunshine. And she, Kate wrote me a little letter here. I just read a couple lines. Oh, look at she made even put my picture up there and some hearts. That's pretty cool. Dear Gig Master, my husband and I are enjoying your metal detecting videos. The tutorial on Equinox A Heart was particularly informative. Reading the manual just doesn't cut it. But your video with the monarch butterflies takes the prize. You brightened our day. I appreciate that. And she goes on to talk about some other stuff there about how she used to live near me right here, actually. But anyway, I appreciate that, Katie. Thank you so much for that. That means the world to me, knowing that I am providing a little something to people to enjoy. Um, a couple of people ask when I'm out in the water, do I worry about sharks? Yeah, I worry about sharks. I'm kind of always keep my mind, Where's, what's going on here? Because you never know if your buddy's in there, he hits you. You say, whoa, wait a minute. Because you don't know who it is. And a lot of times, you either step on fish and they'll shoot out from under your feet or you feel one hit you and all. So it is a little... It's a little scary when you get underneath the water sometimes. Yeah, and yeah, I do worry about them a little bit. Um, some One guy asked me how I clean all my equipment when I get home, and I'm the world's worst of that, so you probably need to ask somebody else that. But I do try to wash it off. I'm at the beach. They got a little thing you can wash stuff off before you put it in the truck. Um, I'm bad about not trying to wash it off when I get home sometimes because I'm just going right back out the next morning. I'm just so quick moving around. I, I don't do it as much as I should. But you do need to keep your equipment clean. A lot of time my cameras get salted and they get clogged up. I gotta clean them out. They start not working. But yeah, keeping your stuff clean is is true and it needs to be done. Um a hurricane, the hurricane came through and it did open up some places, but not as much as I was hoping at last. So hopefully this one getting ready to come through is gonna do a lot better. Um and it's amazing. I talked to so many people on the beach and they tell me all kinds of stories. And some people say, Oh, they nobody loses stuff like that on the beach. And I hear so many talk about. Just the other day, a lady was telling me about her son lost a $4,000 gold chain with an anchor on it. You know, and, and I hear so many people, I've lost $4,000, $8,000, 2000 I mean, just people losing. Just talking to the guy the other day again, his wife, this is in the water where I was at, 
took a three carat diamond ring and threw it in the water off the end of the pier. So, I mean, it's just amazing what's lost and, and, and I guess purposely lost maybe sometime. But, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, sometime though, when you're out there in that water, um, digging, I noticed the other day when I was a big wave that had that scoop out there, that wave can hit that scoop, hit me up the shin and knock my shin pretty good. So you gotta be careful with that scoop because that scoop can, can actually hit you. You gotta be Watch that noise, and you detect it, you know, pop your detecting half or something, so. Be careful in the water over there. Um, if anybody's got any kind of new adventure they want me to go on, let me know. I'm open, man. I'm ready to go out and explore the world, so if you got something you want me to see me do, let me know. Um, if any of y'all want to take me on one of your adventures and give it, so I can do a video of it, let me know. You know, something different that maybe some of the subscribers would like. It'd be great. Um, anyway, um, I think that pretty much updates everything. Uh, one other thing, if y'all like my channel and want to help me, I always put a link to Amazon down in my description of the video. If you click that and go to Amazon, they give me a little credit for that and it helps me support my channel. So I really appreciate it. Some of y'all have been doing it for me. I appreciate if anybody else would go do that for me. And I'm gonna always put a link down in the description to go to Amazon. So even if you um you know you know what you can buy, you click the link, go to it and buy it. It's no difference, it doesn't cost anything, it's free, and it helps me out. So I appreciate that if y'all do that. Um all right, I just want to thank everybody for coming along on all my adventures. I hopefully uh, we do have a lot more coming up and a lot more good stuff, find a lot of cool stuff, and just sometimes just seeing nature. I love just seeing the nature and the the little animals everywhere now, I really enjoy that. But uh, anyway, thanks for coming along. Uh, please click like. Don't forget to click like on my videos too because that helps in the algorithm for uh, YouTube and it helps them promote it more. So click like, comment below. Comments also help help my channel. So don't forget to make a comment. And if you got a good video you like, don't forget to share it. Share it helps out, helps the uh, count go up. And don't forget, Subscribe to the Gig Master and click the little bell so you get notifications when a video comes out. Alright, thanks for coming along on my adventures.